Well, you know how she tends okay, to get like ready on set. Around. Ten seconds. Off you glow. You need a party check? I love you, random voice. Six. Press A. Five. To go to black. Four, go ahead and touch three. someone with other people's fingers. Hello there, I'm Cookie, and I'm peeing a little bit. Just me and you? That's good. Now we can talk real loud. <laughs> and our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by Snow Globe Surplus Store. All we sell our snow globes. We've got over 200,000 on display and several thousand more in the back. Okay then, why wait any longer? <laughs> to get things rolling, eggs make me toot toot! Which eggy breakfast would give Popeye the Sailor the most strength? Eggs Florentine, Eggs Benedict, Egg McMuffin, or Huevos Rancheros? Popeye is strong to the finish, cause he eats his spinach. And Eggs Florentine is the only dish here with spinach as an ingredient. He's also known to get a lift when he tastes a little olive oil. And now, better shredding through chemistry. Imagine heavy metal bands had to use the appropriate periodic table of the elements symbols in their names. Which band would be using the wrong symbol? Iron Maiden, Nickelback, Led Zeppelin, or Silver Chair? The symbol for silver is AG. S is the symbol for sulfur. And there's no such thing as a sulfur chair. <laughs> Until now. Take a stab at... I left my hack and sack in New Jersey. And you guessed it, this one's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read you a list of seven names. For each one, you need to tell me if it's... a town in New York State, or... A medical condition. If it's in New York State, press the square button. If it's a medical condition, press your circle button. Each correct diagnosis picks up 300 bucks. Each mistake costs you 300. And like someone swimming in the East River, you'll want to make it quick. Finish in less than 30 seconds and get extra. We good? Here we go. Pink eye. Helper's nose. Milk leg. Coat neck, saddle rock, horse heads, butternuts. You might want to have your doctor extract your head from your half moon. Well, I'm not looking forward to it, but pretty soon my physicals are going to start involving my eerie canal. Why not try? I only eat organic junk food. People say I don't eat healthy, but I do eat a lot of ketchup, which is technically a vegetable. So I've been thinking about the rest of my diet and how I could make it sound more healthy. Suppose candy were classified as fruits based on its physical characteristics. Which of these candies would be considered a droop? Lifesavers, snow caps, gummy worms. Want to see the answer? In botany, a droop is a fruit with a fleshy outside and a hard pit inside, like a cherry, peach, plum, etc. So a peanut M&M would resemble a droop with its chocolatey outside and crunchy peanut pits. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, I love fruit. No caps. <laughs> but there'll be plenty of snow flying when you shake your brand new prize. A snow globe of Leavenworth Prison from the Snow Globe Surplus Store. Shake it up! The only bank these tiny convicts are gonna rob is a snow bank. This wrong answer of the game has netted you an extra 4,000. Congratulations. Where's the bomb, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. Open wide for... Now I know my AB3s. Which list of numbers, if spelled out as words, would be in alphabetical order? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, or 4, 1, 3, 2. See how those numbers are getting smaller? Your score is about to do that too. 
Here's what a right answer looks like. Four starts with an F, one starts with an O, three starts with a TH, and two starts with a TW. So that's the proper spelled out as words alphabetical order. So what have we learned from this question? No, seriously, I'm asking. That's the end of a thrilling first round. And you've got a pretty nice score. It's a shame there's nobody here to share it with. Keep in mind, in round two, everything is worth twice as much. Okay, let's do this. Take a good look at... Honk if you're easily persuaded to do things. Hey, I found this bike horn. So I thought I'd ask a question that lets me honk it a lot. For every car that is produced in the world, how many bicycles are produced? This many? This many? This many? Or this many? Time is short. Yeah, one car for every bike. That'd make a great question. Now pay attention. For every car produced, there are three bicycles produced. And that's because two out of every three bicycles are run over by a car. Question Coming up next, trolling for a good filet. Because it's not an actual fish, which of the following would least likely brush up against your leg while swimming? A hog choker, a slippery dick, a big-eyed chub, or a darting willy? Now it's a fish, and if you're gonna catch it, please use both hands. Allow me. The darting willy is definitely not a fish, so if you feel one on your leg, get out of the water. And if it attacks, just punch it in the blowhole. Blood and chickens picking out a mate. Oh. Guess I'll marry eight. Say hello to the end beef A. If LA Lakers guard Kobe Bryant were to prepare for basketball season the way premium Kobe beef cattle are prepared before slaughter in Japan, what would not be part of his training regimen? He'd be regularly massaged with oil, he'd be shaved bald year-round, he'd be given a bottle of beer when it's hot outside, or he'd have his exercise restricted. That does it. No push-ups for you. Next time, try this. They get massages, don't exercise, and drink beer, but unlike Kobe the human, Kobe cattle are not shaved year-round. Now, Japanese cows stick with the afro. This one's called Sex in the Universe. Which Sex in the City lady is most likely to get near Uranus? Carrie, Samantha, Charlotte, or Miranda? Miranda is the name of one of the five moons of Uranus. Which is funny because there's one episode of Sex in the City where Miranda's dating this guy, and she's surprised when he licks her... Um, I, I mean, I... I th that's what I heard. I heard I heard about it. Someone, someone told me about an episode. Oh, no, 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 I never watched it. Hold me, never let me go. And my dreamy It's time for... Speed Razor. So, you know those Gillette Mach 3 razors? Very popular because they shave your face at Mach speed, which is awesome! Well, suppose Gillette develops a new electric razor that glides across your face like a commercial Boeing 747. What should they call it? The Mach 0.002 razor, the Mach 0.85 razor, the Mach 1 razor, or the Mach 2.45 razor? A commercial airliner travels at about 565 miles per hour or so, which is about Mach 0.85. Mach 1, of course, is the speed of sound. 
I've got a prototype of the Mach 0.85 Razor here. Let's just see how fast this thing actually glides across my face. <laughs> Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 4,000 big ones if you're right, but you lose 4,000 if you're wrong. And of course, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Who jumps over it? When I say jump, you can ask how high. <laughs> There you have it! Not bad. In honor of your performance, I'm gonna squeeze this duck really hard. Here goes. Hmm, really should have put a towel down for that one. You know